I'm here with the uh, very tall Paul Black. <laughs> oh, oh. Right. I'm six one, and it's not often I see guys that tower. I know over it's annoying me. when somebody <laughs> touches my bottom. Um, it's annoying when um, there's somebody taller in the room. I know exactly how you feel. Yeah. Now you guys have been having just an incredible run, and when you see a show like this, especially now nowadays, I mean, a superhero You're a great TV voice. Oh, well, thank you very much. Voice. Yeah, right? his, his voice is pretty good too. You know. You're not, you're not bad. Uh, you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. we'll just keep talking. Yeah. Maybe between the two of us, our voices will like soothe everybody to sleep. I think yours will. Well, not to sleep, but yeah, you know, we'll let it soothe them awake. Yeah, maybe. yeah exactly. That's what we need to. But no, like you look at like superhero TV shows, and I think in a lot of ways, Arrow has sort of revived the concept of the superhero TV show. There really wasn't anything before that, and now you guys are going into your fourth season. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be incredibly gratifying to to be kind of the the show that sort of helped pave the way for all these new shows that are popping up now? Um, well, I wouldn't, I mean, I'm just a small little part of a show that is called Arrow that happens to have, you know, been the first one that's sort of kicked off all these other shows. But I don't think anybody would take any sort of personal um, uh, credit for that. You know, we were a TV show that popped up along with a bunch of other pilots that year and people liked it. And then, you know, very smart producers saw a, and studios saw an opportunity to expand that. And, you know, obviously have done very successfully. So, um, wonderful. You know, everybody's happy. Yeah, but going into a fourth season, I mean, for any TV show, that's a good feat nowadays. You know, it, it seems oh, like yeah. television doesn't give a lot of high concept shows a chance to really grow. And so yeah. it's really great to see you guys go that far and still be able to tell more stories. Yeah, well, and the CW as well, is, I, I would say, is a, a network that does give shows a chance. Yeah. To uh, to evolve, isn't it? It's probably not. One, it's probably one of the le one of the most patient networks, I would imagine, um, which has obviously helped us enormously. Enormously, you know, shows always take a little a minute to get it, get themselves off the ground, and uh, you know, networks get, have some patience and give them time. You know, it can lead to incredible things. Obviously, as this is testament to. Right. I know you guys shoot in Vancouver. Uh, what is the best part of being in there and shooting in that area? I mean, how are the people? Do you, can you walk the streets, or is it kind of hard because everybody knows you guys are shooting? No, there? actually, I find Vancouver one of the most comfortable places to walk around in because they they kind of know there's a bunch of TV shows shooting there, and it's like, oh, there's the guys from Arrow and the guys from The Flash and. What else is up there? Um, Legends of, is now going to be shooting up there. There's always there's a lot of filming going up there, and it's a relatively small town. And uh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And um, I actually, everyone's very comfortable there. It's funny we go to other places. It kind of gets a bit crazy. And I was in London a lot just recently, and down in Australia. And my goodness, there's a lot of enthusiasm down there. And there's no holding back. It's like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Vancouver, just like yeah, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> just another show yeah, shooting here. Show that clogs up the traffic every Monday morning when they take downtown, you know. But right. uh, yeah, right. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. But who would you say is the biggest ham on the set? Like, who's the who's the biggest jokester on that set? Do you really need to ask that question, John Barrowman? <laughs> obviously, you know, da -da 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 -da, John. Of course, he's a lot of fun to have around. But at the same time, you know, he gets his work done, so it's a nice combination. Very, very cool. Can you tell us anything, without giving away any major spoilers, can you tell us anything about maybe some, some cool scenes that we can expect in this new season? Uh, it's a nice shiny looking suit on its way. And it's not mine. <laughs> Somebody else's. Um, By the way, that may be the most actually, vague answer I've ever heard. Oh, come on, think about it. Um, actually, the last scene of this episode is going to get talked about an awful lot for a long, long time throughout this season. The last scene of the of, episode, of the first episode. That'll work, man. That'll yeah, work. That's you. Will, you won't be forgetting that one, and it's going to hang over the whole season. It's very, very cool. And it's a bit of a classic. So yes, there's the answer to that. Paul Blackthorn. Uh, he is taller than me, but I still say he has the better voice between the two of I us. I think so. he does. Well, we'll see. It'll be determined. So. Thanks, Good to man. Be you. Pleasure. Take yeah, care. Thank you so much.